Max here from ImpassionedCinema.com. Today we'll be having a look at the Roku 2 HD. This new Roku box is part of Roku's 2011 line. This particular device allows you to stream Netflix, Hulu Plus, Amazon Instant Video, among others, directly to your TV, only using the small box provided. To give you an idea of just how small the Roku 2 HD is, I've taken my iPhone and lined it up right next to the Roku 2 HD. Notice how both horizontally and vertically the iPhone is bigger. Here I've taken my iPhone and lined it up against the Roku 2 HD remote. This is what the back looks like. We have an HDMI, an AV out, and a DC import. That's all. Quick look at the bottom. Now into the actual performance of the Roku 2. This particular model only streams at 720p, and I bought this one because this particular TV of mine only streams, only goes up to 1080i. You can see that Roku offers many channels to add a lot of free channels as well as some pay channels such as Angry Birds or other video games that you could play using the remote on your television. Here I've decided to add the Crackle app to my library. This is how easy it is. Watch. It's already installed. Now I can just go right into it It's already loaded. These are all the different videos that are available from Crackle. This particular service offers paid and, uh, and free movies. Now we'll have a look at the Netflix app. Since I'm a Netflix user and I've already activated my account, it logs right in and shows me my queue, the movies that I've recently watched, it's easy just to scroll through what I have. Now I'm going to show you the search function. For example, I'm going to look up new Doctor Who episodes. I just simply use the Roku remote to type it in. And it's found what I was looking for pretty quickly. Giving me lots of options from the TV show to direct -to television, direct -to DVD movies. If I've recently watched Top Picks. As well as all the other categories that Netflix offers. Now I'll go into a program to show you the quality of the stream. I've already watched this episode so we'll start from the middle. It quickly retrieves where I was and gives back pretty good quality. Uh, I find on the play PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 that I get an HD stream. Now I'm loading up Hulu Plus. I don't have an account with Hulu Plus so I'm going to choose no here. It's asking me to become a member. But just for the purpose of this review, I'm just going to pick a random episode and check out the quality. We have our typical loading screen and then our advertisement that Hulu is unfortunately famous for. And then we get right into our program. This being an older animation show, it wasn't that good looking to begin with. Now I'll show you Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll specializes in anime and Korean dramas. 
I have an account there as well, so I have access to the 720p feeds. Surprisingly, out of all the services that I've tried on Roku, the animation from Crunchyroll seems to look the best. I'm going to be looking at one of the newer series available called Fate State, called Fate Zero. And this loads up just as quickly as the other services. I don't know if you'll be able to tell from this video, but this is of certainly higher quality than the previous videos. I hope you've enjoyed this look into the Roku 2 HD. And for only $70, you can stream to any room in your house. I hope you enjoyed this first video review from ImpassionedCinema.com.